Hi guys, this is Shiva Day. Welcome to the session on string interview programs in Java. In this session, I am going to explain most frequently asked string programs during the interviews. Let us go ahead and start. The first one is write a program to print the sum of the digits in the given string. Now if you see the implementation, this is the string which contains the both alpha and the numerical values which are going to assign to the uh, variable str. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to iterate using the for loop each character whether we will check whether that character is a digit or not if digits we are going to sum it okay now if you see here for int i equal to 0 i less than str dot length and i plus plus and if condition what we are checking is character dot is digit this is the method which is going to return true if the given character is the digit and then we are going to convert the character into the string using by appending the empty string then integer dot pass int which is going to take the string uh, string value of the integer and which is convert into the integer data type now that integer we are going to add to the variable sum at the end of this program you are going to get the sum of the digits in the given program now let us go ahead and see the second program second program is write a program to print the sum of the numbers in the given string now there is a small difference between the this program and the the next program because if you see here sum of the numbers in the sense if you see here 1 2 3 is a one number and 3 4 2 is a one number now interviewer ask like if we want to print the sum of the numbers or the sum of the digits this is the program for printing the sum of the numbers in the given string so in order to identify the numbers, the algorithm is like you need to identify how many digits it has consecutively it has repeated and then we need to take the substring of these positions. For example here 0th, 0th position to the 3rd uh, that means 1 to 3rd and if you see here this is the substring again we need to take and that we need to basically submit. Okay, So that is the algorithm. In order to do that we are taking a counter variable and each digit which is going to say whether it, uh, the given character is a digit or not and then sum it is to hold the sum of the numbers in the given string and we are taking the length of the string now what we are doing here is in the i equal to 0 i less than le length and i plus plus and character dot each digit which is going to return whether it is a given character is the uh, given character is digit or not if digit then we are taking the counter variable and also we are updating the each digit variable to the true and if it is a character then we are checking for whether it is a digit or not if digit true means for example in this case 1 2 3 then it comes to the character it will come to the else block now what we need to do is we need to take the substring of this in order to the substring what we are doing here is str dot substring of i which is nothing but the incremental variable and count how many characters actually it has repeated and then i minus count comma i which is going to give you the substring of this particular uh, number then that we are going to convert it into the integer and that integer value we are adding to add it to the sum variable now once you have do this sum you are going to make again digit equal to false because this else block will be executed each time when it is a character but we don't want the else block needs to be executed or this logic needs to be executed when it uh, when the given character or the is a character only digit then only it has to execute then it is going to print the sum of the numbers in the given string but if you see outside of the for loop we have included one more condition that is count greater than zero and each digit this is because for example your character your string is going to end with the digits or number then what happens is it will execute only this block and it will not come to the else block that is the reason in order to execute the else uh, in order to execute the uh, whenever a string is ends with the number then this block it needs to be executed and this is also same which is going to take the substring of length minus count comma length in this case this will give you the substring of basically this num uh, this number 
and finally that you are going to convert this one to the integer and that we are going to add to the sum okay so that is the sum of numbers in the given string now the third program is write a program to print the occurrence of a occurrence of word in the text file now let us suppose i have the text file here this is the text uh, test.txt in this text we have the basically words now i want to find how many times each word is repeated then that is the program we are going to see in the in this um, in this program so if you see here word count in file we are taking map string in string comma integer which is word count we are de declaring as a variable equal to new hash map now what we are doing here is we are trying to do using the try with resources where file reader we are taking which file reader is going to take the um, text dot uh, test dot txt file and then we are taking the with the help of buffer reader we are going to read the each line once you read the each line we are going to convert the each line into the words based on the delimiter that is the space once you got the words each word you need to iterate and then first we are checking for word count dot get map then initially what happens is if there is no key, no keys are available in the hash map then it is going to return null that means this word is not available in the given hash map hence we are going to put that element word count map dot put word and initially we are going to assign the counter as a one if it is already available then it is going to come to the else block there what we are doing is word count map dot put then key is going to be the word and then we are incrementing the how many times it is occurred so word count map dot get of word plus one that means initially it will be one if it is already available then this will increment to two so like that it will read through the all the content or the all the lines in the given file and at the finally it is the the map will contains the key as a word and how many times it has repeated okay so this is the algorithm or the implementation in order to find the how many times the given word is occurred in the given file and the next program is next program is write a program to reverse the given string so in order to reverse the string there are two approaches one is by using the for loop what the for loop we are going to take is we are going to print in the reverse way by taking the length so str dot length minus one which is going to point into the last uh, character in the given string and then i greater than or equal to zero comma i minus minus that means from the last position to first position we are trying to print it in this case string str equal to this is the given string and in this what we are trying to do is first we will try to print the last element str dot character at of index which is going to return the character at the given position now as we are taking the str dot length that means it is going to point into the last uh, character and then keep on it is going to read this way so at the end you are going to read the from the end position to the starting position and that we are going to appending to the reverse string um, string reverse if you print this one it is going to print the end of the uh, from the end to starting position it is going to print okay now another approach is we have the class called a string buffer which is going to take the um, which which is going to take the string as a uh, in the constructor or uh, constructor and then we have the predefined method called as a reverse now string buffer dot reverse dot to string what happens is it is going to reverse the given string and it is going to print the output so now let us go ahead and run these five programs and we will see the output in the next session i am going to explain the remaining five programs okay let us go ahead and run right click run as and java application okay now if we um okay so if you see the output for the first program which is sum of digits in the given string that is 24 now let us verify with the 
output of it. Okay, if we see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4. If we add these all these digits, then the sum is going to be 24. And the second program what we have seen is sum of the numbers in the given string, which is which is equal to 465. That means 465. And if you add this one also, you will get the same output. And third program what we have seen is get the count uh, each word how many times basically it has iterated in the um, given file. And if you see the output, output, A it has repeated two times, OK is repeated one, B, D, B it is repeated one. And like that it is going to give you the each word how many times it has occurred in the given file. And the next program what we have seen is string reverse. String reverse we have seen two approaches. One using the, we are going to uh, take the uh, end position and from end position we are going to get the each character. That is the one approach and second one using the string buffer. Now if you see the string buffer, these two implementation it is going to print, uh, it is basically reverse the given string. And also we will see another program that is print the palindromes in the given string. So in order to print the palindromes, basically palindrome is nothing but when you reverse the word is equal to the given word, then which is nothing but the palindrome. If you see here string str, we have the uh, we have the uh, string representation here, which is um, which is the basically a string. Now what we need to do is we need to convert this given string into the words by using the delimiter as a space. Now if you see here str dot split. I am passing space as a delimiter, so which is going to convert the string into string array. Now, for each word, what we are going to do is, we are going to iterate through the each word, and then we are converting that word into the reverse we are doing using the string buffer. So, new string buffer of word, which is, which is nothing but the given word, and then we are taking the reverse of it, and then that is converting into the two string. Now, if this given word and the reverse are both are same, then which is nothing but the palindrome. Okay, so finally we are printing this word. Now if you see the output of it also, D, 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 D and E, D, E, K, S, K, T, S, T. So these are the palindromes in the given input string. So in the next session, we are going to see other prior programs. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video and have a nice day.